It's been quite some time that I haven't flown this glider, and this is one of my favorites. This is a scale model of a DG505 Orion. It is 2.5 meters in windspan, and now I have to do some repairs. These modifications include the alignment of the horizontal stabilizer, and that's why I'm measuring the angle of the cords of the wings. See, the problem is that the airplane tends to go up as the speed increases, and that's due to a disalignment or a high angle in the horizontal stabilizer. This angle difference between the horizontal stabilizer and the angle of attack of the wings is called decollage. It is okay to have a high decollage angle in slow airplanes, but in gliders like this it is very critical to have the right amount of decollage. So the fix for this is put the wings at a zero angle of attack and take them as a reference to align the horizontal stabilizer about 3 degrees. After taking a few measurements, I found out that the angle of attack of the original stabilizer in respect to the wings was about minus 6 degrees, which is very high, and that's why I had to pitch down the airplane to maintain a level flight. To fix this, it's simply a matter of just adding a little bit of a wedge to level the original stabilizer to the correct angle. Apart from that, I have to fix the motor mount and a few other minor fixes. In a few days, we're going to some places where I will be able to fly my glider. Flying any kind of radio controller airplane is very close to the dream of flying myself. And that's why I love it so much.
The flights at this beach were relatively quiet. And now we're going to the mountains and let's see how it goes there. It turns out that in the mountain, the wind speed was a little bit high, but that's not the problem. The problem is that the slope is not as steep as it should be to generate constant updraft to rise the glider. But I still enjoyed flying it in that place. If you like this video, please consider subscribing, and if you want to be notified of new videos, hit the bell button. I'll see you in the next project.